March's box is here. Why does it look blurry? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the, the squeaky chair. I'm gonna be opening March's boxy charm. Oh my god, I haven't even filmed February. I should be doing that right now instead of filming March. But I haven't opened this one, so I'm excited to see what is here. It is late at night, so that's probably why the lighting sucks. Well, that is why the lighting sucks. But I wanted to do this now because I know that if I wait, I won't do it because it takes me forever to do these things. Okay. Oh, there's foam in here. Just a little card. And it has everything that is in the box with the original price. I'm going to look at it. So first we have this for your hair. 801 CBD multi-purpose. Okay, let's look at the card. I'm so confused because this is not on the card. It says multi-purpose nutrient mist and styling aid. Enhance body manageability, detangle, frizz fighting, environmental protection, balance moisture, add nutrients, refresh hair, add shine, it reduces stress, apply to towel, dry hair everywhere in style. It says fine mist, medium, five mist. Oh, it's telling you if you have fine hair, it's three mists. If you have medium hair, it's five. And if you have thick hair, it's seven sprays. Well, moving on, this is the perfect dual... So it's basically like a beauty blender. It's a beauty sponge. With a brush. This is what the brush looks like. Mini base flirtatious looks. And it's very soft. So there's that. And then there's the sponge. It has this flat end here. It's a little firmer than the beauty blender. I haven't really felt any of the other sponges to compare it to. Looks like this. The perfect dual. Quick beat mini base. Oh, quick beat versus mini base. Coverage, blendability, precision. So step one, wash. Step two, squeeze. Step three, beat. And then this is the Frank Body Brightening Vitamin C Mask. For babes who bite the forbidden fruit, the mask is it. It has cut kakadu plum, probably not saying that right, tackles pigmentation. The papaya enzyme dissolves dead skin. It says, I'm a gentle resurfacing mask. I'm a gentle resurfacing mask made from native Australian fruit enzymes designed to gobble up dead skin and reveal softer, clearer skin. Nice. Made with the world's most concentrated source of vitamin C, as well as pineapple enzyme glycolic and silicic acids perfect for sensitive skin babes or in between manual exfoliations apply a thick layer to your face rub in circular motions for 30 seconds and leave for five minutes then rinse evenly distribute sunglasses to every person you come in contact with repeat two to three times per week this is what it looks like See what it looks like. Thank you. Is this for your body or just for your face? Oh sh mm. on here. This is an active brightening vitamin C mask that multitasks. Natural and cruelty free. It's packed with vitamin C rich. Basically everything I really just said. It dissolves your top layer of dead, dull, damaged skin. That's actually, hopefully, it's for your hands because I have dry patches. Like, right there. Like, even if I put lotion, I mean, the lotion helps, but then I wash my hands and the dryness is back. So, it never fully goes away. I don't have nice, soft hands like every other woman. And then I have Rare Beauty, Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. A weightless, a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra-fine pearls for a lit with from with glow this is what it looks like <laughs> that's so pretty you don't even need a lot that was 
a small pump and it's I feel like it just looks more wet on camera but it looks very illuminating very pretty that's pretty pretty Oof, I can't wait to use that hopefully it shows through through the foundation though because I don't know if it will I'm pretty sure too like if you're going to the beach and you put this on like you'll look super glowy and gorgeous and I can't even tell you guys the original prices because it doesn't even say. I don't know why I got a wrong, the wrong card. <clears throat> and this one is the Aceology Overnight Lip Mask. Exfoliating, hydrating, and soothing. This was the second like lip mask type of thing I got. It's here to give your lips that extra smoochable edge. This miracle worker will resurface your lips, boosting hydration and leaving them soft, supple, and smiling. Apply a generous amount to lips prior to sleeping. Upon awakening... Wipe with damp cotton pad to remove. What if you lick it off in your sleep or you wipe it off on your pillow? So it looks like this. It's just a clear consistency. Oh, it's very thick. It's very thick. Feels nice. So we'll see. I'll wear this tonight and I'll see. I'm going to make like a second part. You know, maybe not. There's not really anything to try on. Like, it's a brush. I mean, I could make other like makeup video putting on makeup with this. But like, this is just hair. This is just for your body to exfoliate basically. You can't tell if that's happening on camera. This, I definitely want to try this primer though. That's pointless, but to the things that I got. You know what? Since I'm not going to do a try on, I'll probably just add my February box to this video. So that it's a double video. And then the lip mask. Alright guys. I'll probably do the February one and like put it in the beginning of the video. So this will be the end and the outro. So good night or good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you enjoyed my little video. These are fun. I get so excited when I have these. Oh, I signed up for Ipsy. I just want to see like the kind of things they have. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. I just want to see what they have. Um, but then I can do unboxings or yeah, unboxings with those too. It's supposed to be coming, I think, this week or next week. So hopefully. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it so I can keep doing these. Leave some comments down below what you'd like to see next or whatever you want to comment. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. I also post baking videos. I was posting fitness. It's just kind of awkward posting or like filming in the gym because people can see you. Not because they can see you, but like there's nowhere to really put your camera. My camera is going to go out because I'm running out of time. So bye guys, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Looking a little rough, I don't have much makeup on, but today I'm going to be showing you what I got in my, I believe this is my February boxy charm. I had filmed, I believe my March one already, that's why I'm kind of confused, but I believe this is February. Yeah. This is what it looked like inside. I'm sorry I'm so late, this is so hard to do. Um. So I've tried... A couple of these things I really like let's see I'll go whatever hey okay. so first of all I got a multitasker four-in-one makeup brush and it looks like this it just has like it's very soft it has like a blush brush right I believe it is do they come undone? oh they do come undone oh no way I had no idea that it did that literally had no idea that is so cool excuse my dry hand literally i thought it was just these two i even used it one time you can see it's dirty i just thought it's like a beauty sponge in this and right now i, I saw the creases and i thought maybe i could pull it apart what the hell that's hella cool this is like a little eyeliner brush basically and then what would this be like a concealer brush or like eyeshadow brush that's actually really cool i did not know that yep and it says it right here <laughs> it says meet the secret weapon that lightens your toolkit one tool for essential face brushes powder contour brush sweep along face contours for soft blended definition 
um, blending sponge, medium shadow brush, and an angled brow liner brush. So that is what this is. So you don't need to have all your different brushes. You just need one. That is pretty awesome. Next is this Anta Essential Glow Tone Up Primer. I actually tried using this once. For Valentine's Day, I would put this under my makeup. And it like went on nice and everything. But my makeup started splitting before I could even leave the house. Looks like that. And it is a little glowy, but like nothing really crazy. Um, yeah, like literally I had lines like everywhere, like and it was it was really weird. So I had to take off all my makeup and redo it with my Laura Geller primer and it came out perfect. So maybe I'll try it again. Maybe with a different foundation. I'm not sure, but yeah, that one time but that one time it did not work out. <laughs> I'll be a little fast because I don't have a lot of time on my on my phone. Next, I've been using this. It's the Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Bright Eye Cream. Hi, Salvinis. Looks like this. And it just has a little thing. It was a cute little swirl on the tip, but I've been using it, like I said. I find it very moisturizing for my eyes. It's like a nice, thick cream. And this is probably the fav my most favorite one, besides the one that I have that has like the cold metal tip. I believe that I'm posting also in this video, or maybe I posted it in my last video, I'm not sure. But this I really like. So this retails for $32. It's a buttery eye cream with an infusion of yuzu fruit, a rich vitamin C citrus, combined with targeted ingredients such as active vital complex and niacinamide. <laughs> um, and then there's, this primer is $35. The makeup brush is 28 The next thing that I've been using is this eyeliner. It is the Estate brand. But it looks like this. It's a felt tip black liner. And it works really nicely. I actually like this one. I've used this one a couple times. The only thing is that it will kind of stain. When you remove it, there's like a little line left behind. But I mean, if you're staying home, it's not a big deal. It comes off in the morning. Like I wake up and it's not there. But this stays on all day. I've worn it all day and it comes, ah, and it stays on nice. It's actually really easy because usually I use gel liners and this one I can literally just like put it on, you know? So it's like, yeah. This retails for $12. <laughs> and then last but not least is this Stila Mascara Extreme Lash. Um, I've, I've used it a couple times. It doesn't really curl your lashes. It doesn't really do much, honestly. Maybe if you curl them first, then it'll look nice. But I ran out of my other one because it's getting very drying. And so I put this one on and, yeah, hold on, my camera's gonna go out. Okay, so I deleted some videos, so now I have more time. What? It only gave me six minutes, but I just deleted over hour, an hour of videos. So that makes no sense. Okay. But, um... See, it doesn't smudge really it looks very nice i'm gonna go ahead and try on the eyeliner and the, the mascara just so you can see i do have some little things on my face so i'm not gonna put the primer on but like i said it's not the best um and this just believe me it looks it works really nice all right i'll be right back so this is how like the eyeliner and the mascara look you see like the the mess the sun is setting so i had to move the camera Ooh. okay i'll picture frames okay so this is how the eyeliner looks i mean i was having a really bad eyeliner time day i had to do this about three times because i put it on way too thick this one was thick this one was thicker and then I did it and it was too thin, so I kept adding and adding and then I was like, I'm just gonna stop. But you can see the mascara, like, you can't really even see your lashes. I, I haven't cleaned up, but look, like, usually when I put on the other ones, you can see them. This one, you can't really see. I tried building it up too and it doesn't really build up. Um, I just don't like it, really. Maybe if you're gonna wear it under lashes or something where you're, you're not gonna hair like how it looks then that's fine but i wouldn't use it this one i don't really care about it so yeah fortunately 
I'm probably gonna put both of these videos together because I don't have much space to film longer and this was super short so I'm probably just gonna put them both together so you can just watch them all together so yeah I hope you enjoyed go ahead and let me know what you want to see next I'm probably gonna do an HC unboxing right now <laughs> um so yeah stay tuned if you like to see that um I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got and maybe it'll help you make a decision to go through Bucky Charm. I'll put the link down below so you can go to their website and check it out. Um, and just, yeah. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye.